Hi again from the Vivazella team. Today we're in Belito and we're going to be chatting to Lisa, who is CEO of Obuchle. Welcome to the Vivazella. Thank you very much, Mandy. Lovely to be here. Tell us what does the name mean? Because that's of great interest to me. Sure. So um, we started our business 16 years ago and uh, when we chose the name Obuchle, we wanted something with a South African um, ring to it. Um, so it's because we serve the local market and Ubuchle, depending on how you use it in the Zulu language in sentences, it can either uh, mean beauty, but for us we, we chose it because it really means excellence and uh, that is what we stand for. We do whatever we do, our outputs are about delivering on excellence. That's wonderful. Tell us a little bit more about your business, your services and your offering. Sure. So we have three core functions. Um, we work, in essence, we work with people in organizations. So human behavior, uh, productivity improvement, and the three core functions that we focus on is talent management and um, skills development and then the BE consulting that links on to the skills development. Those are the three core functions. Um, within the talent management, it is very much processes. We go in, we do an assessment, and then we uh, have a consulting service that we deliver on. We work with big corporate companies in Johannesburg, Cape Town, all over South Africa. On the skills development, we, are, we have three accredited academies. We've got a wholesale and retail academy that's accredited through the wholesale and retail CETA. We have a business academy, which is accredited with the services CETA on management programs, uh, learnerships, uh, business administration, to, to name but a few. And then we have a production technology um, Academy, which is accredited through the Merceta. And um, we are also um, approved higher education uh, facility. And we deliver on site to clients um, on learnership skills programs and short courses. And then with the BE Consulting, um, we uh, consult on skills development, um, completing workplace skills plans and annual training reports for businesses in order for them to be CETA compliant. And then we advise on uh, what programs to be implemented uh, to get the maximum BE score on the skills development on the matrix. So uh, we have an off-site facility in Johannesburg where we host people with disability in a call centre um, environment and we have an off-site facility in Mount Edgecombe where we partner with Daily Call Centre where people with disability is hosted on uh, various pro uh, accredited programs and they are afforded the opportunity to be trained in a call centre. That is just wonderful to hear, really. How has lockdown affected your business and how have you potentially adapted and learned from it and changed through this lockdown period? Yeah, lockdown. <laughs> I think in, in, on the negative side of things, I think um, a lot of anxiety around, you know, being thrust into a lockdown all of a sudden made us realize that we, we need to be agile around how we're going to manage our business going forward. Um, the positive side is we started research on um, e-learning about two years ago and we have decided to utilize some of our business uh, funding to come up with a new product and uh, we worked day and night and i'm very glad to say that we have in the past three four months have established an e-learnership academy that is accredited all our accredited material is presented in a virtual space it's a blended approach to um, the, the learning. So it's not just um, self-guided online learning. We have a plugin on our platform 
where the learners are via virtual classrooms can still interact with a facilitator assessor. Our academy, I'm very glad to say, we've also got it um, approved through the various CETAs and um, supported by the QCTO, which is our accreditation body. So you've definitely used this term wisely. I think uh, from a business perspective, um, you, you can either choose to sink uh, or you can choose to swim. And I think we, we chose to swim, coming up with a new business model. I wish that most businesses had the sort of attitude that you do. And I have no doubt that a Abukhle will continue to, to grow in leaps and bounds with a dynamic woman like yourself at the Holmes. Thank you so much for joining us today, Lisa. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting with you and all the best as we go forward with 2020. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. To our viewers, we'll be sharing the details on how you can be in touch with Lisa at Abukhle. Till next time.